Yeah, use some club soda. That should get it right out. Anytime, Your Excellency. Oh, hi. I'm Ali Javanbach, Medical Director here at UCSB Student Health. And welcome to another episode of The Doc is In Video. Today, we'll be talking about sleep. When I was an undergraduate about five years ago, that's not funny, I thought of sleep as a monumental waste of time. It's seven to eight hours every day. My friends and I would philosophize about how much we could get done if we didn't have to sleep. We thought about all the studying we could do, uh, all the partying we could do, all the exercise we could do. But as it turns out, sleep is anything but frivolous. It's a really important part of our functioning. It's essential, kind of like food and water and Wi-Fi. So let's look at a few things that would affect college students specifically. Number one, learning. People who learn the best are people who study and sleep. Sleep helps to take everything you've learned in short-term memory and solidifies it into long-term memory. So that's available for recall, such as like a test-taking environment. Item two, people who get enough sleep tend to have better moods. They find that their sadness is less, they don't get anxious as often or as readily. In general, they tend to feel happier and they feel like they can cope with stress more effectively. So, morning. This translates into just better functioning overall. Number three, the body is very hormonally active at night. So there are surges and drops in growth hormone and sex hormone and there is evidence that getting enough sleep actually helps people to maintain a healthier weight. So as you're looking at your ever-increasing time demands, consider giving sleep its proper place in your time budget. That'll make for a healthier, stronger, smarter, more resilient you. So that's all for this episode. See you next time.